you speak English? Okay, I'm, I'm a street photographer and um, I really, I really like your style. I think you look, look really cool. Um, I'd really like to take some good pictures of you. Would, would that be okay? Yeah. No, I just think you look really cool. Yeah, they'll be good. I promise. Do you know how to pose? Yeah. Of course. Oh, well, you know, you look like a model, so... That makes sense. I'm just that I'm a street photographer, and, you know, I thought... I thought you looked really cool, so... I was hoping it'd be okay if, you know, I took some street photographs of you. Cool. Yeah. Well, I think you look really cool. Okay. Should we just... Let's just do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's... You, yeah, they just bought it out. Do you all off? Do you all off? Okay. I think it's worth. Say when. No, I think you're really beautiful. Yeah. Well, I mean... There's beauty everywhere, isn't there? I think we all carry beauty with us. But sometimes we just have to, you know, give ourselves permission to be beautiful. It's okay to be beautiful. No matter who you are. You look beautiful. You look fantastic. Hold that pose. This one's going to be good. Yeah. 
photographer for like three days now so you learn to sort of just know these things like cameras it's like a violin if you can play one violin you can play another violin or a car if you can drive a car you can probably drive another car yeah, cameras are really easy. This one's got loads of different lenses and stuff. Well, it depends on the shot. You know, if I'm going to take pictures of fish, I'll use a fish bowl lens. And um, if I'm going to take a picture of, well, like a really, really big triangle, I'll use a wide angle lens. For you, the lens I'm using is a beautiful lens, because you're beautiful. <laughs> you are. No, I'm <laughs> quite the opposite. I am completely uninterested, but um, I just think, you know, the eye beholds the beauty and the gob should relay it as a kind of mutual appreciation thing and we don't genuinely compliment one another enough without despicable ulterior motives and especially men cis men talking to men cis men they don't really say nice things which sucks but you look great. Whoa. Keep that smile. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We should go to the aquarium. How many fish do you reckon are in the sea? Well, people are always saying that there's plenty more, but more on top of what? About five? Ten? I don't know. Do you like sharks? <laughs> yeah. No, that's right, if they bite through to your bone, you're dead. And they've got like, I don't know, or funny skin made out of teeth or something. And if they ever stop, they, they explode. There. Yeah, say explode again. Explode. Plosive, isn't it? Maybe a consonant, diphthong. I don't know what those words mean. But I know a great face when I see one. street photographer and I just thought the way you look was really cool which is why I asked you if I could take pictures of you and that's what we're doing now are you sick of the aquarium yes yeah, making me hungry too 
and food. How about we go to a garbage site? Cool. Okay. Say trash panda. a good one. I really hope that you end up treasuring these pictures. Hmm? No, I mean like put them in a box and bury them. Bury treasure. Still, it's a tough life being a professional street photographer. Hmm. Well, we don't get paid a lot. We usually just take what we can off the street and stuff. You can take pictures of it too. Well, I thought if, you know, I took a picture of money, it could be used as legal tender, but it's not the way it works. Plus, it turns out that that's quite illegal. Yeah. But when do you learn about these things? It's not like they teach you law in school. They don't teach you how to use the DSLR camera like this one either. I remember when I first got this camcorder, this old school single lens reflex analog camera, this radio camera, this is a satellite camera. I remember when I first got it, I didn't know how to use it. I had to teach myself. That must be how you kind of feel, you know, like, you were just given that phase. You had to learn how to use it, and you use it really well. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, a little bit like that. Maybe a sort of martial arts stance, something like that. Do you think that's the one? Don't smile. Now you look great when you smile. Okay, try doing this. Like you're thinking, but you're tired. So you have to rest. That's the one. Oh yeah, I forgot to take the picture. Sounds really cool. You're right. Might make me feel a bit better. We'll go to the graveyard. It's mm. nice. What's your name? Is that a pseudonym? No, that's cool. Look. That grave. It's got your name on it. No, I'm not threatening you. I'm just saying that's a bit of a coincidence. Hey, you know what we should do? We should go back to the street. There's nothing to be photographed here. Mystified. Misty-eyed. Can you 
do that again. I'm confused. Okay, um, perplexed, flummoxed, foxed, um, a bit lost. That's it. Birdie. seen the film Home Alone. Mm, that's right. The one the kid um, kind of murders those burglars. Mm, yeah, it's funny. Um, anyway, there's this really famous beer now that maybe you could recreate for me. Yeah, that's right. The end credits. Recite them for me. It'd be good to get different vowel shapes and consonant shapes. Yeah. Yes. say this has been my most successful street photography ever I know that we've sort of been around the world been to a lot of different places but somehow each place has been roughly the same time of day but I don't think that the locations had anything to do with it I think it was all you you're amazing your style is so cool, and you look so beautiful, and you're just nice. You didn't make fun of me when I messed up all those facts about sharks, or when I didn't really know what kind of camera this was. I think it's a Polaroid camera. <laughs> and you know, that's real nice of you, so thank you. Oh yeah. 
and thank you for letting me take street photographies of you. We should go back to the beginning. Yeah, it's nice enough. Alright. One more snap for good luck. Oh, by the way, you owe me $7,000. Alright, smile. <laughs>